Our first task in this project will be to add a new Swift data model for our books, then making a new view to add books to the database. So first things first, the model, press Command N, make a new Swift file, choose next, and then call this thing book.swift, and then add an import for Swift data, and now give it this code, at model, Oops, class book, var title's a string, var author's a string, var genre's a string, var review is a string, and then var rating is an integer. Now this class needs and initializes the work correctly to provide values for all five of these things here. But it's a tip. If you just go inside the class like this and type in, Xcode can autocomplete the entire initializer for you. That's now valid. So this class is enough to store the title of a book, the name of whoever wrote the book, uh, a genre of the book like fantasy or sci-fi or horror, a brief review of what the user thought of the book, and then a rating uh, numerically one to five, with five being the best. So now we've got our data model here, we can ask Swift data to make a model container for it. This means opening up the bookworm app struct here and adding a import for Swift data. Again, I prefer them alphabetical, but it's down to you. And then I just modify to our window group. We'll say model container, uh -huh, dogs, uh, for book.self. Okay, so now I've got our model, we've made the container, put it in SwiftUI's environment, we are good to start using this thing. So our next step is to make a form that can create new books uh, in the system here. Let's going to combine so many of the skills you've used previously, like um, form and state and text field and text editor and picker and sheets and more, all combined, plus your Swift data knowledge in one place. And my lovely hungry dogs are very hungry. Are you wearing a little neckerchief? Oh, not so they can see it on the camera, perhaps. Come here. <laughs> Look at this. You've got a little green neckerchief on. I'm a good dog. Yes, you are. All right. Anyway, sorry. Stunt dog. Uh, press Command N, make a new Swift UI view, and call this thing Add Book View, like this, and then press Create. In terms of properties, this thing needs to have one environment property to read our model context back out of the environment. So I'll say at environment backslash dot model context var model context. This form is going to store all the data required to make up a new book here. So we need at state properties, local values to store all those things from the book. So we'll say below this thing, at state private var, title is an empty string. I'll copy and paste that a few times. Uh, in fact, five times like that. Uh, we've got title there. We've got author, empty string. We've got racing, I'll say middling by default. So three stars. Uh, then we'll do a genre of fantasy by default, and then a view of empty string by default. We one more property here. It'll we'll store all the possible genre options. Uh, so we'll make a picker with four each going over these later on. So we'll say here our genres genres is an array of fantasy, then horror, then uh, let's do kids. We can say mystery. We could do poetry, maybe, we could do romance, and we could do, say, thriller, like so. We can now take a pass at the form itself. And we'll, we'll improve it again soon enough, but this is enough for now. So, this current body property here, I replace with a navigation stack with a form inside. And there will be a section containing two text fields. First one will be name of book, bound uh, to dollar title. Like that, then we'll do text field, author's name, then text uh, author, then a picker for our genre with selection bound to genre. And this is we're gonna loop over that genre's array. So I'll say we've got a picker here with a for each inside over the genres with ID of backslash self because they're all unique strings. And then that'll pass in the string itself, fancy horror kids and so forth. I'll just do text dollar zero to convert that into text things right away. As you can see here, these are various options. That's the first section done. Then below that comes a section for writing a review. So I'll say here, 
section, write a review. And I'm using a section here because it puts a title at the top saying write a review, which is helpful because I'm gonna use a text editor here to store their text. If you have a text field with a vertical axis, you can put a placeholder in its place of the title of the section. I'm not using a text editor here, so I need that thing. Then below the text editor, I'll add a picker called rating with selection bound to dollar rating. And then we'll do for each zero to six, make a text of a string of dollar zero. So convert zero to a string, put in text, one to string and text and so forth. That completes the review section. And finally, a third section will have a button saying save, which will add the book as a comment for now, again, more later on. And finally add a nav title here of add book, like so. Hopefully, did I put it in the wrong place? Might have done. Yeah, I put it in the navigation stack box and that should be in the form. Sorry, there we go, there we go. When it comes to filling in this button's action here, we're gonna make an instance of our book class using all the values from our form and insert that into model context, which of course trigger Switch it's autosave, I'm all happy. So right here, we're gonna say, our new book is a book with this big initializer. Let's pass in all our values. So title is title, author is author, genre is genre, review is review, and rating is rating. And now insert that to model context, so it's being saved by core, that's for data. I almost said core data, that's one for the older folks out there. Uh, model context, insert our new book. Okay, that completes the form for now, okay? We still have to have a way to show and hide this thing when uh, new book's being added. Uh, and this means return to content view over here and following all the usual steps for a sheet here. We want some state property uh, up here, for example, to track whether the sheet is showing or not, add some kind of button to the toolbar in this case, to toggle the property and then add a sheet, modify the track that property, so when it's true, we show our add book view. So up here, we'll add three properties. Uh, one will be an environment for our model context, like so. Um, I'm adding the model context here. We're not using it just yet, it's coming later on. We start deleting objects, but we can get it done now anyway. We'll add a query to read all our books out, so we can see it's actually working correctly. And here, oh, I've got to add to the data, of course, sorry. <laughs> trying to do Swift data stuff without Swift data being imported. Disaster. Um, obviously, add and import Swift data. Uh, and then uh, a local state property here to track whether we are showing the add screen or not. Maybe false by default. So uh, down in this view body here, we'll add a navigation stack so we can have a title plus a button to show the adding book button there. Otherwise, just some check text that will show how many items are in the books array, just so we can be sure everything's actually working correctly. Um, this is where we want to add our sheet modifier to actually show that add book view. So we'll say there's a navigation stack with a text of the count is books.count. There's a toolbar attached to the text. And inside the toolbar, actually, what well, uh, title did not we really? That's our project it's called Bookworm, right? There we go. A toolbar, I'm gonna to add a button saying add book with a system image of plus. And when that's pressed, showing add screen dot toggle. Boom. Uh, I'm gonna wrap that button actually inside a toolbar item with a placement of top bar trailing because later on we're gonna add another button up there on the other side. So I'll get the trailing and, and leading thing exactly correct now. We've got nav title, we've got a toolbar, and now we're gonna say there's also a sheet which is presented when showing ad screen is true. And the content is simply uh, add book view, like so. Okay, again, <laughs> this is designed our Swift data model. We've injected in Swift UI environment with the uh, model container being made behind it. We made a form over in add book views. We can actually add data. Now we've updated content view so we can actually present the form when needed and show the results nicely. The final step is actually make the form 
dismiss itself when they've actually added a book. Um, so the whole thing works nicely. Uh, and so in add book view up here, we already have an environment for our model context. Uh, I got another one here to track are we dismissing the thing or not here. So I'll say at environment backslash dot dismiss var dismiss, and then just call it dismiss action when we're ready. So down here in this save button here, for example, I'm gonna say dismiss. Okay, that's enough for now. Go ahead and press Command R, give the app a quick run, and hopefully it all works correctly. Let's find out. I'll press plus, add a book here. Uh, <laughs> call these dogs uh, White Fang. Uh, thanks for that autocorrect. That was Jack London, I believe. It's kind of a kid's book, isn't it? I, mean, I don't know what it is called. It. Um, is it a kid's book? Uh, who know. Who knows? That's a favor of you, dog. Okay, White Fang down there. Come on. Uh, rating obviously is a classic book. I'll do four and then press save, dismiss, count one. It's all working correctly.